write a book about wishes, not so much about making them, but more about fixing something before it's broken in your life. And it, it got me thinking. Now, most of you reading this are going to end up on the sidelines of the trading world, and that's a fact. And many of you will also understand exactly why you're unable to make any money from your trading activities. It's not that you don't know what to do. It's just that you can't consistently do it. You'll be sitting one day looking back at your trading career, thinking of what might have been. And I know this because I've spoken to people just like that. So I want to do an exercise here. I want you to picture yourself with a blown out trading account. Actually picture in your mind, looking at your computer screen or your account statement and see your initial deposit and your almost zero balance. I want you to see yourself removing the charting platforms and anything else that's related to trading from your computer. Now see yourself telling your friends and your family that knew you were trading that it's all over for you. How does that feel? Now picture someone standing right in front of you. This person is asking you the following question. Looking back on your trading, what is one thing that you would do differently if you could go back? Now be totally honest with yourself. We all make mistakes, but while some can improve on it, others just commit the same ones over and over again. So for this example, let's say your answer was the following. I wish I understood position sizing better and never risked more than 1% of my account on a trade. This way, I would have been able to suffer through the drawdowns that happened during the learning curve. Now that's a great answer. Now you have the makings of a trade plan. You can now rephrase that to make it more relevant to today by saying something like this. I never risk more than 1% on any singular trade. In doing so, it allows me to withstand any drawdowns that may occur in my position and to take a loss that will greatly affect my ability to trade. I accept that the markets will ultimately do what they're going to do regardless of my bias or my belief. Furthermore, I never have more than X percent of my overall capital exposed at any one time. If I violate this rule, I'll suspend my trading activity for a period of five trading days. I think that most people that have taken the time to educate themselves about trading know the pitfalls. Take the time to go through this exercise with four other things that you believe you wish you did differently. Print it out and tape it right above your trading desk.